Hi, my name is Constantino Aerecola. I'm a neurologist, neurobiologist at Wild Cornell Medical College in New York City. I am the director of the File Family Brain and Mind Research Institute. And I, my interest, my research interests are in the regulation of the cerebral blood flow to the brain, as well as the implication of when this uh, uh, delivery of blood flow to the brain is compromised, such as during stroke or dementia. I will be the keynote speaker, and the topic of the, this keynote lecture is on the role of hypertension in the um, devastating neurological diseases, including stroke and dementia. During my talk, I'm, I'm going to give you a small overview uh, of the factors regulating the delivery of blood flow to the brain, um, reminding that the brain is uniquely dependent on a constant blood supply. And when the blood supply is compromised, the brain does not work correctly, leading either to cognitive impairment or to, in a worst case scenario, to in acute stroke. And after that, I will uh, point out how hypertension is one of the major risk factors for stroke and dementia. Whereas the association between hypertension and stroke has been established for a number of uh, decades, the association with dementia, particularly with Alzheimer's dementia, which is the most common form of dementia in the elderly, has only recently been uh, unveiled. And I will provide a basic science perspective on these conditions, you know, drawing mainly from our own work in, in animal models of hypertension and Alzheimer's disease. So what are, what are the implications of the basic science discoveries that I will be presenting uh, to you uh, with respect to the treatment and diagnosis of, of uh, um, stroke and dementia? Uh, I have to say that one of the success stories of treating hypertension has been a dramatic reduction in some estimation up to 70% of stroke mortality. And this provides the, the, the uh, background for continuing to aggressively treat hypertension as early as possible in order to decrease the devastating conditions. The association with hypertension and dementia is now becoming mm. more clear uh, with respect to the fact that uh, midlife hypertension is associated with doubling the risk of dementia, including dementia of the Alzheimer type. And this is a new realization because uh, vascular factors were thought to be not a major contributor to Alzheimer's dementia. So the implication is that the free free hypertension during midlife, we may be able to dramatically reduce the risk of, of dementia, including Alzheimer's dementia, later in life. And there is some evidence from the literature and, and from our own basic science studies that this indeed may be the case. So the, the whole take-home message would be that you know, treatment of hypertension is of fundamental importance to brain health, and we should be very aggressive in pursuing that. In closing then, we, uh, I will be remarking the fact that all the major threats to, to, to the mind, like conditions such as Alzheimer's disease or vascular dementia, are really based upon alteration in the blood vessels of the brain that are preventable by controlling risk factors. And hypertension is the premier risk factor that needs to be controlled. So my, the message would be that we should be very aggressive in treating hypertension in the hope of reducing the incidence of these devastating conditions.